Good morning, it's Brad World. It's Rob, and uh, I'm here in sunny Florida because they're here in sunny Florida. <laughs> Spread World to Extras Facility in Deland, Florida. I'm here with Duncan Corbel, who's uh, been a buddy of mine for since I met you in 2019. I'm, I'm going up the ladder. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, we're all friends. It's a small community, it is. right? It is. Uh, and I was a, a, a blown away by the announcement that yeah. Extra was number one, putting a headquarters, a factory yeah. supported headquarters here in the United States. Yeah. And I further had my mind blown when I saw your name yeah, thank down you. there in the memo. And I was like, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, and so I was very excited to uh, come down here and to check out the operation and was very excited for you because I've known you yeah. for these years and how you operate and you own and operate in LA. Yeah. It's not like you're unfamiliar with the no, aircraft no, or the good. community yeah. here in aerobatics. Yeah. So, if you wouldn't mind, kind of take us through what's sure. going on here with this new venture. No, thanks, Rob, very much. Thanks for coming down, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm equally excited, and to your point, you know, I feel like it is a really small community. Mm -hmm. I started flying my extra seven years ago, and I'd like to say I know half of our customers, you know, <laughs> and we'll get to know the other half. But uh, to your point, really exciting. I've been a huge fan of this brand the whole time. And, uh, you know, Walter Extra and I think his family have just done a remarkable job. Yeah. So. We're happy to be here in Deland, you know, right next door to MT Propeller. I think, you know, from an experience standpoint, we had a great relationship with Kramer Upchurch and Southeast Aero. Um, and I think, you know, at this point in the company's life, uh, you know, Walter's been at this for 40 years. He's got two great sons, Marcus and Eric. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, they're ready to take the reins for the second generation and, you know, in a gradual transition. And I think with the timing of everything else, it just made sense. Let's set up a factory direct model. Absolutely. So, I, uh, I've been in aviation my whole career, and, and like you said, started flying aerobatics about seven years ago after I put three kids through college. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing led to another, and you never know where life takes you. So here we are <laughs> in Deland. Life happens. And yeah. the folks over at St. Augustine and Southeast Aero, uh, I've shot a bunch of videos over there, yeah. had a lot of support with them. Good people. And oh, fantastic folks, the best. Uh, and this was just a progression that Extra wanted to take and they wanted to be a, a, their own service center. And to have that factory support here in the United States, yeah. I think is gonna benefit Extra owners. Well, and it's not like yeah. it's not like Southeast is necessarily going away. They're still around. Right. Again, Kramer Upshur is a great guy. Jim Bird, great guy. And again, a small community. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're fans of everybody. Yeah. But ideally, uh, you know, we will continue to kind of grow our parts support here, be able to stock more inventory. I talk to the factory every day, you know, yeah. and, um, you know, we're going to set up the internet here over Christmas. I'm going over the first week of January. I will be able to get into their inventory control system. So, you know, our computer, we even have a voice over IP phone that I can just pick up right here and punch in extensions and be able to call the guys at the factory. So it's really cool. Very good. It's, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time, like everything in life, you know, overnight success takes 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're, we're going to get there. And again, we're, we're really excited to be here. Absolutely. And so uh, why don't you show us around what we've got going on so far here in the land? Sure. Let's go take a look. So welcome to our hangar. Uh, we're gonna do three primary things here is uh, obviously the factory support of the new assemblies. So the new aircraft, this is a NG Serial 37, the blue one. And the back is a NG 46. And we'll get back to that. And then uh, we have a great uh, touring model right here that's in for an annual. And then behind us, uh, a good friend of ours in your neck of the woods brought his uh, 
300L down here for the 1,000 hour inspection. So that's the aircraft that are in the hangar today. So there's already over 46 NGs oh, yeah. punched out of the factory already. Oh, punched out. Um, made with tender, loving care. Yes, sir. In the uh, last yeah. two years? Yeah, two and a half, three years. Wow. Uh, really, and, and this is one of the things I love about this brand and this family. And you know, I've been an aerospace guy my whole life. You mm. think about it, if you started your own company, and for 40 years, you were the sole guy who was the chief designer, you know, aerodynamics test pilot. How many people do that and stay with the same firm for 40 years? And the perfection you get, you know, from self-taught mistakes, kind of like the Wright brothers, yeah. you know, and the learning you get and the NG is, is all of that coming together. And what I think is one of the finest, you know, aerobatic aircraft out there. 100%. So to your point, the, the sales are fantastic. Uh, the next available position, is not until the first half of 2024. We're Woo. sold out for all 2023. So if you want to get one, give us your deposit right now <laughs> get and we'll line. put you in line. You know, just a hugely popular aircraft. But yeah. again, just, you know, to steal the line from Lexus, the endless pursuit of perfection, mm -hmm. you know. And I've been designing airplanes. I got to work at Beach for 20 years and Lockheed and Bombardier, stuff like that. But, you know, to be at the same firm, the same product, you know, this airplane's big enough. You know, you can touch every piece of it, right? Yeah. You know, inside and out. So, NG is very successful. The, um, the next couple will be uh, 51, uh, 52 that'll come in and we'll get those uh, in a couple of months. We got a new SC coming for a friend of ours in uh, California. Okay. And uh, you know, really excited to get that. So yeah, the NG is just a, just a fabulous airplane and um, flies just great. Love, love it. I feel like a 747 captain in the back. We've got the great Garmin G3 in the back, smaller one in the front. We got an autopilot, it, it just blows your mind. I mean, what this aircraft can do and then turn all that stuff off and just go fly aerobatics. Yeah. And, and, you know, a good friend of ours, Dog Cress, you know, she competed in Unlimited at the Nationals, you know, yep. and did just great. And this airplane's built to do it. Absolutely. So really fantastic. Uh, you talked about the, being in it for 40 years, gentleman yeah. who you know, was the designer, the builder, the yeah. test pilot, all yeah. of that. And having a 300 mid-wing yeah. and <laughs> the pieces and parts that are yeah. on it that are yeah. overbuilt. Because yeah. when he when he built the 300, when he built the mid-wing, he didn't know how strong he needed it to oh. be. Yeah. But he went, ah, let's make it twice as strong as it needs to be. And so everything's heavy. Yeah. Well, and I don't. The I don't, canopy well, is definitely one of the ones where yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. Hey, it's it's heavy. Yeah. Uh, but the the NG, it's 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 the final or not the final necessarily, but it's the latest iteration Absolutely. of all those years of research, dev design, development, yeah. and now a new material. Yeah. So yeah. what's what's the NG well, made let's, of? Let's walk over here and kind of talk about both of those because I, I think this is to your point, great evolution. If, you know, the, the all metal classical tubular truss construction, right? I mean, classic design. And I have told people, you know, my quote, extra career, you know, if you have to do an off-field landing, just fly that thing into the ground and that will protect you like a roll cage, you know, in a Formula One car. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the aircraft, as you well know, are designed for 10 Gs. Mm -hmm. Not everybody understands that there is a 50% safety factor for ultimate load. So that takes it to 15 Gs, mm -hmm. all right? So we've never had an in-flight issue, right? And again, this is perfection after 40 years. So yeah. we take everything we've learned, to your point, make it stronger and lighter. Kind of look at the wings, they're very similar with a, a, a doubly redundant main spar, all right? So I'm not sure if everybody knows that, but we've got two spars laminated together, totally separate. Either spar can carry 10 Gs. Oh, so wow. by definition, kind of fail safe. I knew it had two. I didn't yeah. know that either one yeah. could do 10. Yeah, isn't that great? I didn't know And, that and you good. know, it's kind of tough to calculate aerodynamics when all the stuff that's going on goes on in an aerobatic airplane. Yeah. So I think, again, to be very cautious, um, that's what we want to go do. Turbine powered RV. Very interesting. It's good to have your own turbine engine company. <laughs> so I've been a big fan of composites, but to switch from this very simplistic truss here to an all composite fuselage, what's amazing is this is also designed for 10 Gs. There's a 50% safety factor, but in composite materials, for good quote structural reasons, you have to put in a little other conservative factors for heat and moisture. Okay. So steel doesn't have that. And this is not unique to the NG, this is just composites, period. So not only do we design it for 10 and it, it took 15 Gs, it's actually somewhere between 15 and 20 on an actual static test um, to account for the other allowances that have to be done in the certification process. Interesting. So I'd say the same thing to this, is this is just a, a, just a very sexy roll cage. 
and we've made the transition, you know, from one generation to the other. Chrome right? Molly steel tube to carbon yeah. fiber. Isn't it cool? Yeah. And here's just another great video. Let's so this is a, another, if you will, great example of evolution in, in technology and aerospace in general, and obviously the, the extra family line. This aircraft is a 300L, just like mine. It's uh, serial number 52. I believe it was built around 1997. And if you look at all the avionics in here, it's, it's, it's very well equipped, of course. But what I want to walk you through is if you take a look at this instrument panel, the radios, the fuel gauges, autopilot, all that's in there. We're going to take a look from this and we're going to go over to one of the new NGs and turn on the new Garmin G3. And since we're fortunate enough to have this apart, just take a swing around the back and look at all the weight, hardware, wire harnesses and tubing that we had to do 20 years ago to put all this together. And in 1997, I would argue this is state of the art, you know, equipment. Oh yeah. HSI and you know you're a designated pilot examiner you know how all this stuff works and <laughs> really cool that this airplane is this well equipped back in 1997 and a digital G meter so the, yeah, uh, oh yeah the, the, the folks who were fans of Microsoft Flight Simulator and exactly. got the Fly Patties 300S they'll remember yeah. that was in there yeah yeah. Uh, yeah just look at all I mean this is a busy busy panel it is a busy panel and you know we took up all the space we could and still go fly competitive yeah, aerobatics. Oh, yeah. So now let's take a look at one of the new NGs. This is serial number 46. Really great guy, Randy Owen, our customers out in Denver. I'm gonna take the airplane out to him on Tuesday. So he's been down here, kind of helped us watch us put it together for the first one, really a good time. So he's excited to get this aircraft and, and who wouldn't it be? You know, it's still got that new car, quote, new aircraft <laughs> smell. So this is what 20 years will bring you. This is the new Garmin system up front. And that entire single piece of glass basically replaces everything we looked at on the other aircraft. Wow. And I will poke my hands in here just a little bit. So this is full screen, touch the map, and you know, you've got split screen and it's just unbelievable what you can walk through. You wanna take a look at your fuel gauges on the left hand side, just tap that, that comes up. And you know, I'm used to flying my aircraft with little needles and the answer is you know, in an extra, you have a full tank of gas and then a half a tank and then the wing tanks are empty. Yeah. You know, this is just digital gallon by gallon, fuel flow, you name it, cylinder head temperatures, EGT, just great. So you want that to go away, click back, put that back up there, split screen, full screen mode. Now this is really cool. Click that, mm -hmm. you get your options over here, go to the menu button, flight controls, autopilot, flight director, <laughs> heading mode, everything, all built in. So cool, okay? Absolutely. And you know, you, like I said, I feel like a 747 captain back there that I've, I've got command of the world. I, I was fortunate enough to go up to Charleston, South Carolina, and pick up a customer. And I told him, you know, I'm over at Jacksonville, right above the airport, just above their class, Charlie Air Base. I feel like God, you know, I am flying <laughs> along in a brand new extra. I've got the autopilot engaged. I can see, you know, Georgia to Tennessee to the Keys, you know, yeah. what, a, what a great feeling. What's also really cool about this composite fuselage, it's just quote, airtight. Oh yeah? So, you know, from a standpoint- Wait a minute, <laughs> extras are drafty. Yeah. W w when wait you say you, airtight. Yeah, wait till you fly this one, okay? So um, really cool, all composite fuselage. Mm -hmm not near obviously the airflow that you have with a classic fabric and tubular structure Very so this whole thing is is basically you know a monocoque structure and you know back to the back to the 20 years of perfection i mean look look at how beautiful the canopy latches are you know how all this comes down and seals um, we've got electric cap and heat here up front wait so, it's electric yeah these two knobs right here all right so full hot full cold front and back this airplane is, is so tight that, you know, I haven't used the heat yet. I'm sure on the way out to Colorado next week, I'll probably give that a try. Probably have an opportunity, yeah. yeah. But um, again, and, and look at the fit and finish, um, just, just a fabulous. And this is all sealed up, electric heat. So I've, yeah. I've bent heat control rods that sure. got stuck and, yeah. and I didn't know it, yeah. <laughs> trying to get some heat onto my yeah. right foot. So that's impressive stuff. Yep. Does it come? It doesn't come out of the vents. There's no way. That's uh, just got to be fresh air. Yeah, right? that's just fresh air. Okay, we, all right. The heat, the, there's a heat down here and, and up front for the distribution of that. So that's electric controls. It's obviously the same classic heat system that we take fresh air off the muffler shot. But yeah, just a really um, great example of technology. And then the standby instruments, you know, are there. You come downstairs here with a Garmin 375 and a standby radio, which you can, you know, monitor run all the frequencies up here, just like everything else. But just again, think about the weight that we've saved, mm -hmm. you know, think about the maintenance, you know, maintainability, 
um, just great. And all that solid state, right? There's no gyros. Yeah. Even better. So especially flying aerobatics. So all that space that was taken up yeah. over here by all the all the it's equipment. Called leg room. <laughs> yeah. For now the front. The, I mean, now you've, the front flown, seat. you've flown in the front seat. Oh even my extra. goodness. You know, yeah. I'm a well, tall guy. I'm six feet four. I mean, that that's glorious. FCS you know? podcast calls it the massage chair because yeah. it's yeah. it's not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> um, so another interesting thing about the G3. Yeah. Uh, does it also give you the capability to create a flight plan on four flight and then send it to the panel and it's all there ready Absolutely. to go? Absolutely. You know, everything you do on your phone, obviously the, the Garmin system, you know, Garmin pilot, program everything on your phone, just walk up here overnight and, you know, upload it. There it is. Yeah, there it is. And, uh, you know, more more technology that, that I'm sure I'll figure out on uh, the next couple months, but slowly but surely get as deep into the Garmin system as we can. Now let's talk about the seat for a minute. If uh, uh, those of you who have flown extras in the past, especially down to the 300 level, it's a straight board and a yeah. straight board. Yeah. Now this is much more contoured and looks like it's more captive of a seat to keep you keep you in place and, and, and make you feel more secure, which in my mind leads to better performance in aerobatics because you're not yeah. flopping around the cockpit. No. You're not making unintended stick inputs. Yeah. This thing looks like it really cradles you. So I uh, uh, you're spot on, and, and again, you know, uh, who, who could ever design a perfect airplane the first time? And like I said, I, I worked at Beach since 1983. I worked on the King Air, the King Air 350. You know, that's been in business since 1964, and they're still making improvements. Same thing here. Mm -hmm. You know, this has got a wraparound seat back, much more comfortable. What you might be able to see is it's got a fully articulating air gas spring back there. So you can adjust the seat live. There's a button on the other side, which we can get a shot of. Okay. Same thing with the rudder pedals, fully adjustable, seat backs adjustable when you get in the aircraft. Mm. You know, not ahead of time with T-pins. Right. You know, long flight, short flight, you know, come upright and uh, locked and loaded for aerobatics. Oh, there's the pedal adjust. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, is there an AD for the uh, adjustable rudder pedals like on the, uh, on the classic models? No. No? Wow. Improvements being made all around. This is excellent. And um, little USB power, pilot's operating handbook, uh, very easy to get to, you know, just a, a small um, storage space up there. Built-in baggage, baggage netting. Easily. Yeah. This front, the stitching, the seats, this is, this is a long way from the hard seats of, uh, of the 300 or the 300L. And the LX, I thought, had very comfortable seats. Yeah. Uh, I like the, the, the seats in the LX. Uh, but this is uh, this is definitely a uh, a different design philosophy, and it looks it looks beautiful. It is beautiful. Love the stick. You know, just the attention to detail here. Electric trim, autopilot there. Just a super super great grip. You know. One of the big treats about having factory support is factory tools, and these came over from Extra, right? They did. Just a small gift to Ian and I. Um, all metric, all standard, everything you need to take care of this airplane. And then the bottom door, some secret tools we just can't show you. Okay. <laughs> and then what's the uh, what's the numbers here? So each toolbox is indexed. You can see at the top of this, this is box 118. Every tool is laser engraved. So from a tool control, you know, for an object damage, you know, which, which parts go in which toolbox to make sure everything is where it should be. Excellent. So uh, all the holes got to be filled. Yep. Except maybe that one? DNE was did not exist. Okay. Got, uh, out of everything else we got, we apparently one little guy got away somewhere, so we, we placard that so we know we're not looking hey, at it. All right. too much fun, really great equipment and um, Oh that's a nice that's a nice watch. Yes it is. Yeah, yeah that's it's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, just a beautiful aircraft, great attention to detail, and uh, fully competitively aerobatic at the same time. What a gift if you uh, would like to talk to us about a deposit. Chad Graves, who you know, super great guy. He's our national sales director, senior captain for Southwest Airlines. Don't hold it against him this weekend. <laughs> but Not a great fault. guy. You know, Chad's been working on extras since uh, 1993 or 1997, full of stories. Uh, we're here to help you. Um, love to get you in line. And, uh, you know, I think it's just a great investment. I don't know about your aircraft, but, you know, I bought mine in 2015. And I think the you know the family continues to hold the value, uh, in part because the, the new aircraft are so accomplished, it kind of buoys the market. So just uh, we think a great aviation investment and a great aircraft. Absolutely, uh, this is a fantastic facility. Uh, Ian's over there working away. He's he's 
keeping things going. Hi, Ian. <laughs> uh, Ian's doing an oil change and compressions and everything on the, this LT that's here. And uh, the, the, the work doesn't stop. The work no. doesn't stop here in the land. It's, it's just beginning and, and uh, there's a lot of excitement and a lot of, a lot of new things coming and uh, very happy to be uh, have the opportunity to, to, to take this little tour yeah. with you. No, thanks for taking the time to come up. Duncan, That's really good. Thank all you right. very much, sir. Congratulations. Right. Yeah, and, thanks. Uh, I look forward to seeing all the exciting things yeah. that come out of the shop yeah. in the future. No, we'll be around. All right. Thanks. Thank you. All well, right. thank you very much. If you would like to reach out and uh, get more information about Extra Aircraft, visit their website, extraaircraft.com. <laughs>